Hey, have you ever wondered how to use Google Tag Manager to install Facebook standard events? That way you can properly track your conversions inside of Facebook Ads Manager. Well, guess what? That's exactly what I'm gonna show you step-by-step step today. So stay tuned. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Barrios Digital. And today I'm covering part two of Facebook standard events. If you didn't catch last week's video, in that video, I talked about the benefits of standard events over custom conversions. And I also went over how to install standard events doing the manual method. If you missed that video, no worries, you're in luck. You can go ahead and check it out right here. So in this video, I'm strictly going to cover how to install a standard event, this time using Google Tag Manager. I'm not going to be covering all the benefits of standard events. That's all on last week's video, so you can go ahead and check that out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install this using Google Tag Manager. Okay, so here is the thank you page where we are going to be installing the lead standard event using Google Tag Manager. So in order to install something through Google Tag Manager, naturally you first have to have Google Google Tag Manager installed on the page. So I already have that set up right here under my custom scripts. I have the GTM head tag and the GTM body tag installed just like that, head and body. So the place where you find this is inside of your Google Tag Manager account. If you just go to the container ID on the upper right and you go ahead and click on that, here is that head tag and then here is that body tag. And then you just go ahead and set it up whichever way um, is done inside of the platform that you are using. So we are all good in that sense to start using Google Tag Manager to fire the lead standard event. So let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, I'm going to go over here and click on triggers. And I have to create a couple of different triggers right here uh, because if we go actually over to tags, the only thing that's firing right now through Google Tag Manager is the Google Analytics 4 tag. And now I need the pixel tag to fire through it as well. So a couple triggers I'm going to create right here. I'm going to click on new and then all I'm going to title this all page views and then page view all page views perfect click save done now i need to click uh, create one more trigger right here of a specific page view so this one i'm going to title pv for page views and i'll title this lead magnet opt-in and I'm gonna go once again to the page view trigger, but this time I'm not gonna leave it to the default of all page views. I'm gonna click on some page views, and then I'm gonna click here, go to page URL contains, and here I just type in forward slash test two. That's the very end of the URL of the page where I want the lead standard event to be installed. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So what we just did right now is just basically create a pair of rules. They're called triggers inside of Google Tag Manager, but you can just think of them as, as rules. Hey, when this event happens, such as an all page view or specifically landing on the thank you page, go ahead and do this other thing like this fire tag, which is what we're gonna do next. So now we need to create the tag. So I'm gonna create two tags right here of the Facebook pixel running on all pages and then one for the lead standard event. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on new and then i'm gonna call this fb base pixel because there's gonna be no lead standard event it's gonna go on pages so tag configuration i like to use this from the google tag manager gallery uh, from a developer called facebook archive you could use the custom html tag but um, i find this one to be a lot easier and that is what i recommend so go ahead and click on that and then you have to grab your uh, pixel id so in order to get that go to your hamburger menu events manager and then data sources and you can find the pixel id right over here and you just have to left click it and it'll automatically copy to your clipboard so then i can go ahead and paste right there and then standard page view i'll leave that on gdpr true i will leave that on and then triggering we want this to go on all pages just like that all right, perfect. So I'm going to click save. So that's just the base pixel firing in all pages. Now we want the lead standard event to fire on the thank you page. So let's go ahead and do that. So all we'll do call this FB lead event, tag configuration, Facebook pixel, paste in the name, or sorry, the ID. This time though, uh, as opposed to defaulting to the page view, I'm gonna click on this drop down menu right here and then choose lead right there. Now there are, as you may have noticed, other options down here that are a little bit more advanced and certainly you can mess around with them at some point in the future, but I'm trying to give you the bare minimum that you need right now to get started with uh, standard events through Google Tag Manager. So then for triggering, we're gonna go right here and now I'm gonna select the page view lead magnet opt-in just like that and then we'll click on save. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and then we will test our pages. So I'm gonna say pixel install 
and lead standard event. There we go. Publish. Perfect. So that published successfully. Now, one thing with changes through Google Tag Manager is that they're not immediate. So you usually do have to give them, you know, maybe a minute or two for the changes to show up. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and test this anyway and see if we are getting everything to fire correctly on this thank you page using the handy dandy pixel helper. So there we go. Pixel helper is firing and the lead standard event is right there. I got my page view. So everything is looking good. All right. And there you have it. So I really hope you have enjoyed this two part video series all about Facebook standard events. And uh, hopefully you start using them moving forward as opposed to those custom conversions. If you have any questions about standard events, just let me know in the comments below. And if there's any other topics you would love for me to cover, also let me know and I will be sure to make a video about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time.